Welcome back to Let's Quest Rogue Legacy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And there's treasure to be had. Oh, I don't like you already. Uh-oh. Could have done it a lot more elegantly, but you know. Ah! I almost got the timing backwards. Okay, here come the fireballs. Go! Nope. Do not have, uh... Ah! I don't know how to have that pad thing that makes you immune to spike traps. Fuck you, Urn! Oh, I didn't actually think that would work. Oh wait, I won't be able to do anything with that once I get to the top, so yeah. Oh. Dick move. Oh, god damn it, I passed through it. Still holding down when I hit A. Mm. That actually burns my goat. No goats were harmed in the making of this video. Get it? Nope, fuck it. I just like teleporting. Oh. Fuck. I meant to do this? Yeah, that's the one. Fuck! You know what occurs to me? Actually, it occurred to me before I saw the regular variety. That, uh... That doom traits and doom vases uh, might count as examples for that thing I was talking about forever ago. I don't even remember what game I was playing when I brought it up. The concept 
of mimics that look like stuff other than uh, treasure chests. Actually, I might not even have been... I know I brought it up with a friend, and I meant to bring it up in, a, in whatever I was playing at the time. Maybe this. Who the fuck are you? Greetings, adventurer! I'm here to give you a chance of a lifetime! Twenty-five percent of my current gold is rather a lot at the moment. Ah! That went about as good as can be expected. Can't I get into it? Fine, maybe it's just painted on. I did the thing where I uh, accidentally walked off the edge, so instead of jumping and then double jumping, I just wasted my double jump. there was one on the map. That's evil. Now you I know aren't real. seeing a video very recently of a guy playing Dark Souls with his friends. No. And, uh... He goes and opens a chest and <laughs> one of his friends starts talking to him like he was a uh, child reprimanded by his parents. And what would have happened if that had been a mimic? We'd all be dead. <laughs> so what should you do next time? Kick it first. Uh. Oh! They've got to run out of rockets eventually. Oh! 
I can't drop on top of him. I know. Oh. I meant to do the pogo thing on that guy. I'm really bad at consistently pulling that off. No. Now there's two of them. No! Class has pros and cons. Make sure to change your playstyle accordingly. Ugh. Silent title screen. Pour one out for Sir Kenny the Fifth. A blind archmage with the axe spell. Yes, I would say he's, uh, sort of useless. Pretty sure the first Sir Seller I ran into was one of the first... What the fuck are they called? Miners I ever had. In the class that gets upgraded to Spelunker. Historically, I'm kind of shit with the Paladins, but okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! The final level of gold gain! Waste it all on normal upgrades. <laughs> Bestiality. What's that one? See, I feel like they should have just had the sword pointing straight down, because that does such, that looks like a regular attack. Still embarrassed that for so long I thought this was the uh, the armor upgrade. Gold gain up. <sighs> Gonna blow all my dollary dues. Ah well. Say la vie. Gold gain up. Improve your looting skills and get more bang for your buck. We are going to upgrade it to. 60%? Mmm! That obol really came in handy, didn't it? Thought they could shuffle back and forth like this. Fine, guardian it is. I think I looked at that one before. I wonder if he's the final boss. And he attacks you with all your gold. I remember a game from my youth. One of the secrets was that, uh... The 
merchant in the game was explicitly a demon. Willing to help out the forces of good so we can make a buck. One of the uh, secrets of the game was that if you spent more than a specific amount of money over the course of the entire game at the uh, at the demon merchant, he would appear after you beat the the, the final boss and become a super powerful optional boss. punish you for your creed. Because apparently you didn't read the fine print when you agreed to his services. I'm gonna go use that teleporter. With gold gain up to max, it's time. Ah! That's weird, I thought that always brought me to the land of darkness. That works too. I never noticed that before. I know they turn around, but this guy explicitly has an animation where he switches his shield to his other hand. Huh! I just never thought to look for that because, uh... Well, I mean, you know, it's a 2D game. People have been accepting that... Well, look at me. My hand switches sword and shield every time I turn around. Sixteen gold per. Who says the economy can't go up? Oh. Oh, it's really embarrassing if I had walked right into that arrow. Damn it! Yeah, no good can come of this. Get the hell out of here. Actually, I don't think we've ever seen this one before. Ponce de Freon. Sir Dovahkiin versus him. Royal everything. I don't even know that. Well, Royal everything and Sky Cape. But he can air jump six times. And he's insane. Level 275? Can't be right. That one actually looks like an interesting challenge, as opposed to just seeming to be impossible. Yeah. Interestingly, Freon is a substance which is very, very cold. Makes it interesting that they named a boss who is on fire after it. Ah, oh, 
That's a zombie shnoo. Well, he's dropped a ton of dollar dudes. Excuse me. Out of here. I'm taking the advice of a friend. You're never going to get good. Okay, gone. You're never going to get good in the land of darkness. So your best bet is to just find the boss room and GTFO. You get the find the boss room, jump in, die. And then use the alchemist, not the alchemist, the uh, engineer, the architect. That's why I was thinking alchemist, because it begins with A. The uh, architect, so that you can uh... sorry, just totally spaced out there for a second. You need to use the architect so you can go back to the boss room. Is what I'm saying. The best way to deal with the land of darkness is not to deal with the land of darkness. The darkness is always at the bottom of the castle. <sighs> and that brings us to the end of the day. But don't worry, there's more Rogue Legacy tomorrow. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>